How's it going, everybody? I'm Nathan Navarro, and right now we're taking an adventure into the world of quintaphonic bass guitar. Before we explore the differences between monophonic, stereo, and surround sound bass rigs, do me a favor and make sure that you're listening with either headphones, monitors, or best of all, a surround sound system. Here we go. One of the first ideas I had for this rig was to route each of the strings through different effects. Given the transformative power of effects and the flexible panning capabilities of this rig, I imagined that we could come up with something very big and interesting sounding. Let's pick up where we left off. I'll repeat that same riff and keep the panning constant. This way we'll see just how much we're able to enhance the sound with only individual string effect processing. Well, this has been my first time ever trying out this type of rig, and I think it's amazing. It's like I'm sitting at the center of a performance theater, and each of the strings is a different character that's been spaced widely across the set. It's just so immersive, and it's a lot of fun. Let's get into some of the tech that's made this possible. This is the Sabre bass from Wilcox Guitars, which uses a completely unique pickup method called the Lightwave Optical System. Now, a conventional pickup produces sound when a vibrating string interferes with its magnetic field, but the Lightwave optical system uses infrared lights in each of the bridge pieces to measure string vibration. This works particularly well for the surround sound rig because it provides a much higher degree of string isolation. You don't have any one string's noise bleeding into the other string's channels. 
This brings us to the outputs. In addition to the standard quarter inch mono output, there's a 13 pin jack, which connects to a 13 pin cable. Most users connect this to a Roland GR55, but I'm running it through a custom fan out box, which separates the active pins to five quarter inch outputs. The quarter inch outputs are sent to my computer for some EQ and compression, and then they go to the amps. Each amp is mic'd, and all of the mic audio is then sent back to the computer, where it can be panned however you like. I want to give a shout out to AKG for so generously providing me with all the mics used in this project. The D112 is my preferred bass mic, I used it on the B and E strings, and we threw in two P2s and a P4 to cover the A through G strings. And my special thanks goes out to my patrons, whose contributions help me continue making videos and music. If you'd like to support what I'm doing here, please check out my Patreon link and the awesome list of rewards I have available. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nathan Navarro. Have a good one.